Hello, everybody. This is Elliot from ETJ English, and welcome to another English lesson. We're talking about a special grammar rule in the English language, and this is something you'll see come up a lot, and it's something that confuses a lot of my Skype students. So today we're talking about prepositions of transport. Prepositions of transport. So, for example, yesterday I travelled to my parents' house to visit my parents. I travelled by car. I got in my car because I didn't want to get on the bus. Now, does that confuse you? Why did I use in for some words, on for other words, and by? Well, let me explain for you right now, and we'll see if we can get to the bottom of it. Okay? By. This is a general means of transport. If I go to school, I would go to school by bus, by car, by foot, by taxi, by aeroplane, by lorry, by anything. That's how I get to where I'm going. I get there by something. So it's a general preposition. That's what by is. So what's the difference between in? And on. Well, if I'm in something, that's something I get inside, and usually there's no space to walk around, to move around. I just get inside, inside of it. Now I know you can get inside a bus, but really we say that we get on a bus, and I will explain that later on. But now I'm just going to talk about in. So in, I'm in a car, I'm in a van, I'm in a lorry. I'm in a taxi. I'm in an ambulance. Anything that is a small space that I can sit down in. Now, when I'm on something, I'm usually on a bus, on a train, on a bicycle, on a aeroplane, on a train, on a horse. So this even counts for animals. I would be on a horse. Why do I get on a bike? Because I can't get inside the bike. I can't get inside of it. I can only get on it. Now remember, if I said on for a car or for an ambulance, I was on an ambulance. That would be wrong because that would mean that you're stood or sitting on the roof. So that would probably be, not be very safe, and I wouldn't recommend it. So. We're in a car, but we're on a bike because we get on the seat of the bike and ride the bike. We can't get inside a bike, and the same goes for motorcycles. I'm on a motorcycle. I can't get inside a motorcycle. I can't get inside a horse or a camel. I would be riding on the horse or on the camel. But I also get on a bus. I get on a coach. I get on a train, on a ship, or on a plane. And this is because not only can we get inside of these vehicles, but we can also move around. I can walk on a plane. I can walk on a train. I can walk on a coach or a bus. So we use on for anything that we can get. Inside and walk around. We only use in when it's something that we get inside, but we can't really walk around. So we get in the car, but we get on the plane because we can walk around on the plane. There's space. It's bigger and there's space. So I hope you found this video useful. It was just a quick one for you today. Please expect more videos throughout this year of 2017. I hope you had a really good New Year. If you'd like to book a Skype lesson, please don't forget to click on the link below and book a trial lesson with me. And if not, head over to my Facebook page where I do live lessons every week. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Goodbye.